Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working with a Lenovo T460S. I'm going to show you how to get inside and safely access your Wi-Fi card. So before we get going, remember, I do try to answer all comments and questions at least twice a day. But if you want to save time waiting for an answer, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to keep those updated. Also, I have a related link section below in the description, may be able to help you out with some other things involving your computer use. So to start the project, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over and access our bottom case screws. Okay, so I have these three screws up top, these two screws here, and that's your keyboard screw. That's a switch that releases your keyboard if that's all you're after. So I'm gonna go across and take all these screws out. Okay, so all my screws are unscrewed. However, they do have washers inside of them that hold them in place, so you're not gonna get them completely out. And I set my keyboard screw to open. And now the bottom case is, is released. So I'm gonna take my small flat head pry tool, go across the seam, and pop this bottom case off. Now this has been taken off once before, so you may have a harder time than that but it does come off fairly easily. There's, no, uh, there's nothing attached to the bottom case. It's, it's just the panel. After removing your bottom case, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on this anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you guys need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any of these replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, and I will have a list of all the tools and supplies, again, as well as the replacement and upgrade parts for this model in that one list. Now, before doing anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug the battery. It makes it safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through the computer. In this computer, we have two batteries. The main computer battery screws in there and there, plugs into the motherboard right here underneath this tape. So I'm going to go ahead and take out those screws. And then it's held down underneath these two clips right there. So I'm going to pop this up out of that port and then slide it out from under those two clips and there's your battery. This battery is very similar. It's held in by these two clips there, these two screws here, and it plugs into the motherboard there similar to that one. So I'll go ahead and I'll take these screws out and then I'll lift it up from this plug and slide it out from those clips. Your Wi-Fi card is right here. It's held in by a single screw there, plugs into the motherboard here, and the antenna wire snap on in that corner, the black and the gray wire, those are just snaps. So those snap directly up and off of that Wi-Fi card. I'll use my small flat plastic pry tool and just snap that one off, snap that one off. Now, the way to get these back on, it may be a little frustrating. They do have to be at an exact 90 degree angle over that snap, and then you just push on it and it'll snap in, into place. You can damage them. If it's not at the right angle and you try to force it to snap down, you can damage these. So be careful. It may be a little frustrating if you're not used to it, but they do snap back down. Then I'll just go ahead and remove this single screw. And the Wi-Fi card pops up a little bit and you can slide it out of the port like that. I will have the Wi-Fi card specs below in the description. I will also have some replacement options in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts. One last thing to shout out about this kind of repair. If you are having Wi-Fi issues in your computer, if it can't find any network, it is possible that your Wi-Fi card is bad and needs to be replaced. However, it could be something else. It could be a software issue, a driver issue. If you want to troubleshoot why your Wi-Fi is not working, I'll have a video link above, also below in the description, showing you how to troubleshoot a laptop that can't find Wi-Fi, because again, it may not actually be your Wi-Fi card. So that's the procedure. Uh, please remember to like and share if it was helpful, if you think it could be helpful for someone else. 
Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content or if you just want me on hand to answer your computer related questions. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.